Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Music News. This week we will be talking about different instruments that are found in musical families. Now musical families are a little bit tricky. There are lots of them, but there are four main musical families in our orchestra. Here with the latest on that is our reporter, Miss Stacy. Miss Stacy? Why, thank you, Miss Stacy. Hi, everybody. So this week we're talking about our four instrument families in the orchestra. The orchestra has four. The first one is the woodwinds. Here is a picture of the woodwinds. Aren't they lovely? Then we have the string family. Here they are. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful. Next, we have the brass family. The brass family are right here. And finally, we have our family, the percussion family. Hello, percussion family. And those are our four orchestra families of instruments. Back to you, Miss Stacy. Okay, thank, thank you, Miss Stacy. I appreciate that report. That was lovely about the four uh, orchestra families. We, uh, we appreciate you here downtown uh, sharing those uh, with us. Good job, good job. Now we're gonna send it to our reporter in the field, Miss Stacy, who is going to be interviewing and talking to some of our very special guests who will be speaking with you about specific instruments, how they sound, what they look like, and how they are played. Now over to you, Miss Stacy, in the field. Thank you for that introduction, Miss Stacy. We are out here today, out here live, getting ready to interview some of our people. Now I see there's a storm coming, so we're looking out for that. Whoa, that was a strong wind. But I'm out here, uh, braving the storm for you all, reporting all about these instruments today. I believe we have someone here to speak with us about the violin. Uh, a nice young lady speaking with us about the violin. Let's go to her. Hello, my name is Charlotte and I play the violin. This is a violin and this is a bow. The violin is played by by <laughs> running the bow along the strings. The violin has four strings. This is a G, this is a D, this is an A, and this is an E. You can also play um, the strings by plucking them. Um, the way that you change notes on an open string is by placing your fingers down. So I'm going to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Um, twinkle Twinkle Little Star is also, it uses the same notes and the same note changes as um, the ABCs and Blah Blah Black Sheep. This is the violin. It is a part of the string family and it's played by arco, which is pulling the bow across the strings or pizzicato, which is plucking the strings. Um, playing across the wind, which is a song in F major, B flat. <laughs>
right they're still letting us out here they haven't asked us to leave yet so we're gonna keep going with our interviews and I believe next up we have some people here to speak with us about an instrument called the trumpet the trumpet in the brass family we'll see what they have to say and over to them let's let's go to roll the clip roll the clip Shh. Hi, Miss Stacy's class. It's Miss Shauna. I'm here to show you my trumpet today. Uh, the trumpet is a brass instrument, and um, that means that the whole instrument is pretty much made out of brass. It starts all up here and it goes all the way through. Everything's brass except for the tops of the buttons there. And uh, the mouthpiece is made out of metal, also. It's really hard. And you make noise by vibrating your lips and blowing through this mouthpiece. All right? Let me show you. Now, if I forgot to vibrate my lips or I didn't know how, when I blew through the mouthpiece, it wouldn't make it wouldn't make a very pretty sound. Not that that was great, but listen, that's not going to make music out of that. You have to vibrate those lips. Now, when I put the mouthpiece on the trumpet, that sound comes through, from the mouthpiece all through the brass. It goes through the valves here. Uh, you can use the valves to change what note you're playing or you can use the muscles in your mouth to um, make different sounds by tightening and loosening those muscles. It makes the sounds go up and down also. And then the sound comes out, the bell of the trumpet right here. Um, it's been a while since I played. I'm, I'm gonna play you a little song I know um, that uh, maybe you've heard on Saturdays before. Let's see if you know it. Robert and what I have here is a trumpet. This is a an instrument in the brass family uh, because not because of what it's actually made of but uh, because you play it by blowing into a mouthpiece. Um, like you like I said you buzz into a mouthpiece which is kind of like blowing into it but you keep your lips together so you get kind of a kind of weird sound of it. It's kind of like a kazoo. Um, you put the mouthpiece into the trumpet and you use these three valves to control the pitch as well as like using your air to help control the pitch as well. So a uh, piece that I have ready I'm going to play real quick is just the beginning of a piece by Handel. several instruments that he would like to tell us about today and are they we're, st we're still allowed to be out here okay great no we're good the storm we're, we're okay we're good we're doing good we'll send it over to Kyle our reporter in the studio who's going to speak with you about a few of the instruments that he has uh, he has found for us all right uh, they send it send it over to the studio we'll see if they'll still let me out here in a, a little bit thanks okay bye Hello there everyone, my name is Kyle and today I'd like to talk a bit about the acoustic guitar. This is an acoustic guitar. It's part of the string family. It's made out of wood. It has a hole in the middle where the sound comes out. It has tuning keys here to tune each of the strings that are made out of steel. This is what it sounds like. My name is Mike, and I have with me today an instrument called a guitar. A guitar is from the family of chordophones that go back to the 12th century. That's 900 years ago. 
And the guitar has been popular ever since then. It's extremely popular now because you can play it very easily. Just one person can pick up a guitar and play it. And the guitar has become very instrumental in American music, American folk music, American rock and roll, American blues, any kind of music imaginable, the guitar is popular. It can even play classical music. It's a fretted instrument and it makes it sound through its vibrating strings. So the vibrating strings, the noise comes back in the chamber and then it projects out. So it makes a sound like this. You can play the guitar with your fingers by finger picking. You can strum it. Or as you saw me do at the very beginning, you can use a pick, picking each string individually. So, this is the guitar. And there's both an acoustic guitar and there's an electric guitar. So, I'll play you a little song now. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea, and frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Honolulu. Puff the magic dragon, live by the sea. Frolicked in the autumn mist in a land called Hanali. Well, I hope you enjoy the lesson on guitars. They're great instruments. They're wonderful for creativity. So enjoy yourselves and take care. Hello there, everyone. My name is Kyle, and today I'd like to tell you a little bit about the steel pan a very interesting and new instrument that comes from the Caribbean islands of Trinidad and Tobago. Every steel pan starts its life as a 55 gallon oil drum. What happens to those oil drums is they cut the top of it off at a certain length, sink the face of it into this concave shape, and then chisel and tune each of these note areas. So what you end up with is a uh... is a percussion instrument that has access to all 12 of the chromatic pitches. The history of the steel pan goes back to the 1940s. There were several different people in competition trying to make the best version of this instrument that they possibly could. But the person who is most often credited with creating the modern steel pan is Ellie Minette. His revolutionary design was the first to include the oil barrels. There are several different pans within the pan family, and when you get them all together along with the drum set and other backup percussion instruments, you have an ensemble that rivals any symphony orchestra in its size and scope. That is called a steel band. Now let's hear a bit, shall we? been my little talk about the steel pan. Everybody, my name is Kyle and today I'd like to talk a little bit about the clarinet, a very important member of the woodwind family as well as the symphony orchestra. Hi Miss Stacy, it's Miss Sherry coming to you live from our front room here at our house. I wanted to share a little bit about my flute with you today. My flute is a member of the woodwind family. A long time ago, woodwinds were made of wood. Now they can be made of many different types of materials. Mine is silver. It's very pretty, isn't it? A woodwind needs wind in order to make beautiful music. On my particular instrument, I blow wind across this mouth plate and some of it goes into my flute and with, with the help of my fingers moving my keys, I can make different sounds. I can change the pitch 
how high or low my sound is by the way I move my fingers on the keys. Let me show you. flute. It's one of my favorite things to do. I hope you enjoyed learning about the flute today. Until next time, bye Miss Stacy. A few moments later. An old teacher of mine affectionately referred to the clarinet as the king of the woodwinds. Like many other members of the woodwind family, it has a very unique voice to it. It also has the capability to play very high and very fast, which is always fun. The clarinet evolved from an earlier instrument called the Chalmo. In Germany, around the year 1700, some German guy learned how to put a register key on the back of the Chalmo, which greatly increased the range of the instrument, and what we call the modern clarinet was born. The cool thing about the clarinet is that it has three distinct registers to it the lowest of which is called the Chalmo. These notes can sound very rich, warm, and dark, and, and kind of woody sounding. The middle register is called the Clarion register. It is here that the clarinet starts to sound more bright and more sweet. The highest register, called the altissimo, can be very piercing and very shrill, to be honest. And that has been my little talk about the clarinet. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the saxophone. It's part of the Woodman family since it uses a reed. Um, Saxophones are used mostly in jazz ensembles and solo situations uh, because of its unique sound. It also has the ability to make some very weird and wacky sounds, which is personally what I enjoy doing the most. Now, jazz on saxophone sounds really cool because, you know, you think of jazz, you think of saxophone. This is, this is what it sounds like on alto. Now, in a classical situation, um, it gets more of like a violin sound. So, like this. and very unique. This is the saxophone. This is the tenor saxophone in the key of B flat. It is in the Whitman family and it is played with one reed. <laughs> going to be demonstrating the piano for us a little bit of the piano um, we also might have uh, um, some other ones but definitely the piano let's send it over to that interview right here hold hold tight hold tight no yeah we're still good okay great great here's a piano uh, this was invented in Italy around 1700 it's got 88 keys it's a stringed instrument now let me play the A section part of Furelis by Ludwig von Beethoven.
this is I'm in eighth grade and this is a trombone. So I'm just gonna play something. I just don't know what I should play. Sure, I'll play hot cross bun. <laughs> Thank you. All right, the uh, the storm is starting to pick up a little bit. There's a little bit of rain happening all over the place here, and the the, the bigger storm. It's bigger. It's coming, and I think that they're coming. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's definitely time to go inside. Thanks for thanks for sending it back over to the studio. This is Miss Stacy reporting. Ooh, that's cold. Thank you, Miss Stacy, reporting in the field. Uh, I just spoke with her. She's doing fine. Uh, the storm has passed over. She's doing well. And she just wanted to make sure that all of you remember to uh, study and practice and remember our different instrument families and uh, the different orchestra families that they can belong into. Strings, uh, our friends, woodwind, brass, percussion, to name a few. And then, of course, we have the piano, which is kind of its own little instrument all by itself, a little troublemaker, the piano, but that's the piano. We do have one final guest speaker today, and that guest speaker is going to be speaking with you about an instrument that is interesting and fun, and one that you can play along with at your house. It is our our own uh, our own live reporter, Miss Grace, and Miss Grace is going to be speaking with you about a very special instrument. So we'll turn it over to her. After we get done with her, we will be uh, closing out the news. So we appreciate you joining us today for this special episode of the Music News with Miss Stacy, and we hope to see you again next time. Have a good evening. Hey kids, this is Miss Grace coming to you from my house. Today I want to share a very special instrument with you called a kazoo. Miss Grace doesn't have a regular kazoo. Miss Grace has an electric kazoo, and it is a very important part of any good jug band. Not necessarily the orchestra, but my favorite movie has a jug band, Emma Daughter's Jug Band Christmas, and so for years I have loved playing the kazoo. I'm going to play it for you today and show you some of the things I can do with my amplifier. I'm going to move you right here so you can see my amp. And I'll show you my favorite kazoo. Here's my kazoo, and there's the pickup that goes to the amplifier. Without the amplifier, it sounds like this. You just hum into it. It's a pretty easy instrument to play. Now I'm gonna turn on my amp and show you what some of the buttons do for my kazoo. button is called the gain. Next, I'm going to show you what happens when I change the tone. Same process. <laughs> Last, volume. I can do the volume with my voice, just like Miss Stacy teaches you, but I can also do it with my amplifier. <laughs> When I go to zero, you can't even hear that I'm blowing the kazoo. Anyways, this is one of Miss Grace's very favorite instruments, the electric kazoo. Thank you. Honorary reporters, it is your turn to be interviewed. So what I want you to do is to go around your house, go through your things and see if you can find an instrument for you to play. Remember your instrument can be in any one of the families of the orchestra. Maybe it's a percussion instrument that you hit. Maybe you make a string instrument out of some rubber bands or uh, an instrument for the woodwinds that you blow into. It is completely up to you. Do me a big favor and post a picture of yourself playing your instrument that you create, and you can put it here on our Teams page, or you can send me the video on our Teams page, or you can send it to my email, pendryss at duvallschools.org. Again, your assignment is to create your own instrument using things that you find around your house. Figure out what family it's in, 
brass, percussion, strings, or woodwind, and post a picture of it or video of it on our page. Good luck, reporters, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. This has been Music Time with Miss Stacy. I miss you, I love you, and I will see you soon.